Yo, what up guys? This is Tulu from Effective Men. Um, I just wanted to like, share a story with you guys. It's basically about how to get rid of 5K within like five months. And this is how I did it. All right, so based on the title, I know why you are here and to click this video. Um, as I said in the title, how I basically got rid of 5K within five months. And you're probably wondering why I actually have my beard all removed and I have like, you know, a little bit of scruff going on, you see? But um, back to the video, the fact is that I got rid of 5K within five months or so. And I just wanna share with you guys um, a few things that I've done and I've learned on that road of basically being independent and um, living on my own, paying my own rent, you know, insurance, stuff like that, and how you can do it for yourself as well. If you're coming from like a person who recently graduated and you're just trying to take care of like visa loans or debt or anything that like holding you back financially. So here's something that I've done. Um, one, oh, there's a bug on me. One thing I've done right now was um, use your resources. If you know people that could lend you um, a certain amount of money until you pay off your loan, ask them if you can lend me some money for this short amount of time, I'll pay you back within an X amount of time that you're gonna be paying them off. Um, the reason I'll say this is when it comes down to visa interest, it adds up quickly because every month is a new cycle and based on how much you owe, you're getting charged for that amount. So for example, if you owe $100, you're going to be paying 20% um, of interest on the $100. So you'd be paying $20, $20 essentially. And that just adds up and accumulates. So just to get out of the predicament, the first thing is, like I said, use your resources. The second thing is talk to your bank about other financial options you have with your credit card. Say you can't pay X amount on every month on the due date. You can also opt to a point where, hey, I can pay down $50 now. Second thing I recommend you guys to do is talk to your financial bank because they can help you out with you asking them if you can uh, actually opt out of paying X somewhere in my mouth, but opt out of paying a certain amount of money per month, um, which is the minimum payment. Payment. If you can't pay that, you can. There's all the other options you can use with your bank that can actually help you down the long term. I don't know if it will hurt your credit score or not, um, but you can also talk to them about those type of situations if you can't meet if you can't meet the minimum payment requirements. While you're going through it is being mentally strong. Um, being mentally strong is very important when it comes down to paying off the loans because some people pay, feel like it's not gonna happen ever. But I found that it accumulates over time once you start putting down payments. So you start putting down like $100 or $20, three weeks in one month, that's $60 you already put down into your, your debt. So accumulate that money over time and just put down a small payments and you gotta be mentally prepared to do so so make that your target make that your goal put it in your in your in your washroom or put it on in the door before you leave or put it in your car or something and really put your mind to it and it can be accomplished another thing i would suggest is one thing everyone will hate but it's also it's just very important but it's budgeting budgeting is super super important um, I personally learned uh, a trick that, not, not a trick, but I learned an example that what they, they do in the Jewish, Jewish community when a man, when a boy becomes a man for, during the bar, bar mitzvah, and basically it's kind of called like the 10% budgeting um, idea. So basically what happens is 1% goes to tithes, another percent goes to offerings, um, one one percent goes to your savings, two percent goes into your investings, 
and 5% goes into um, your, your own personal spending. And if you do the math, when it comes down to, say, you split your, your paychecks or whatever the case may be, you'll see that you will have more money in your spending that you need in general. And you're taking care of your financial um, means with tithes and offerings, for example. I use that factor of paying off my visa and saying, hey, right now, if I can't give back to what I can give back to the community, which is like tithes, given forward, um, I can give out clothes or any other factor. And um, that's another, that's a budgeting trick I've used and I'm still using to this day. And it really helps you out financially. Um, I think it's just a key thing to use and it'll be really helpful for anyone who watches this video. I was in financial, well, I got into a financial hole in a way, because just like any post-grad, your, your visa adds up over time, right? And mine added up to a certain extent to hit 5K, and I was just like, wow, how can I pay this off um, while I'm working and paying rent? So it also just came down to the fact of budgeting was the key thing I had to do. As I was saying, yeah, I had to eat spaghetti for a couple months, or I had to cut back on certain things that I really wanted to eat, but it all paid off because I had to budget my, my finances and basically basically for the better of getting rid of my debt, which actually can hurt your credit score down the road as well. So if you want, if you want to buy a house or whatever the case may be, you want to get money lent out for your mortgage, it hurts your credit score. So you got to pay off those payments as soon as possible and take care of all that. Um, another thing is, I would suggest for anyone, is set a goal for yourself. You want to have goals. So if your long-term goal is to get rid of this debt, set a mark, set a benchmark. Say you want to get rid of your X amount of debt on your loan, but when I get there, I want to, you know, buy this. I want to maybe buy a t-shirt that I always wanted or whatever the case may be. For me, my goal was, because I had a beard for like two years now, really probably going strong for two years, my thing was, as you saw in the beginning of this video, my thing was, I'm gonna get rid of my beard. And that's what, that was my thing. I was desperate to do it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get rid of this. It'd be so sweet. I haven't seen my, I haven't seen my own face in like, like two years, it was crazy. So that was my thing. I wanted to get rid of my, my facial hair. So I made that my goal. And basically that's what, that's what happened. I was just working towards that goal. I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And it was just the excitement of doing it um, really got me here too, of paying off my loan, um, my visa. Also, I suggest you guys like look inside your, your house or your apartment, wherever you live, because you have a lot of things in there that you could possibly sell for X amount of dollars and it really adds up. Um, for me, I actually, I realized I had a lot of things in my apartment that I didn't even need, like, and some of them I had to let go because I knew that maybe down the road, it will come back into my life, you know? So for example, um, I had a DJ set, you know, and the value of that was like 400, maybe $600. And I said to myself, you know what? I can get rid of this now, but for the better of, just for the better of paying off this loan, it will come back to me in my life. Like, don't get me wrong, I love doing, I love spinning. I love that. Um, I love doing that. It was pretty cool doing that in the meantime, but I couldn't deal with it right at this point, moment in time. Sacrifice what you want to now for what you need later down the road. And basically I didn't need this GJ set, but I do want it down, down the road, right? So look around your house, there's plenty of things that can be sold there. There's plenty of things that in your house that can be sold and can add up and you can pay off your visa um, very fast, very fast, I'm telling you. I don't know, I think I'm the end of this video. I just wanted to say that if you have any questions, comments or concerns, drop it in the comment section down below. You know, um, this is Too Late for an Effective Man. Sorry I haven't been dropping videos in a while just going through life in general, growing as a person. And like, these are things that anyone will go through. Life experiences I go through and how I got through them, just comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll be loving to post more content for you guys um, regarding fashion, 
um, self improvements, anything. Just let me know. My name is Tulu from Effective Men, signing off. Peace.